Welcome. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about on how to deal when your snake has gone through a bad shed. A bad shed can be really unpleasant both for you as an owner but certainly for the snake. When a snake is shedding it loosens like the upper layer of the skin and then it sheds it all off. And usually, usually when a snake sheds it should be in one big beautiful piece that is a great sign of the snake being healthy. I really do appreciate when my snakes they do shed in one big piece I collect them as well well you may have seen. If the snake is shedding in smaller pieces or if the shed is not coming off at all, that is a sign most likely of the humidity being too low. It can also be signs of illnesses and stuff like that, but in general and 9 out of 10 times I'm going to say it's just a sign that the humidity is too low. So if you are experiencing your snake shedding in smaller pieces but it's getting everything off, the best thing you can do is to just rise the humidity. I did a whole video on how to get your humidity to be perfect. I I've linked to it down in the comment section but I've also added it to the card right up here but I'm still gonna give you a few tips on how to rise the humidity the first thing you can do is to put in a bigger water bowl here I'm talking like bigger in more surface area the more water that is exposed to the air the higher the humidity will be you can also place the water bowl on top of where the heat mat is remember the heat mat goes underneath the terrarium that will help the water vaporize a little bit faster of course you will need to check up on the water being there but that too will rise the humidity. You can also do something like change the substrate. If you are using like newspapers or reptibark, it can be an idea to change to a completely different substrate because some of them do help rise the humidity. You will often see it directly on the product when you buy it at the pet store, the expo, or wherever you're buying. If you have your snake in a terrarium, you can also cover part of the terrarium with a towel or something like that so you kind of keep the water inside. Of course, make sure that air gets through. If you're having trouble keeping the humidity high, high in a terrarium it might be a good idea for you to switch from the terrarium into a tub because the tubs are really really good at keeping the humidity and having the humidity high which is also why my Borneo python is in a tub right now because she really does require high humidity and the tub is perfect for that that was just a few tips and tricks on what to do if your snake is shedding fully but in smaller pieces rise the humidity now the real trouble come when your snake is shedding and it does not get off like some of the shed is still stuck maybe on the eye caps or on the entire body of the snake and it can look something like this it's really really unpleasant for you as an owner because you're not feeling like you're doing well enough but also for the snake because it has all of this old layers of skin just stuck to him like he can't get it off I have heard people suggest different things one of the things I hear people say is you should just soak them soaking is not something that I uh, want you guys to do it's not something that I do unless it's really 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 critical but in general soaking can be a big stress factor to the snake especially if we're talking ball python so guys if you can avoid it avoid doing the soaking thing this tip I'm about to show you now on how to get the snake to actually get the shed off him or herself is uh, a tip that's helped me uh, phenomenal I had a snake at one point who did not shed it all off and it was terrible and I didn't kind of want to do it with my fingers because it puts quite a lot of pressure on the snake and you are in the risk of harming them break the spine or something like that but this trick was really really good so I'm gonna show you that now we're gonna start off with a box you can also do this method inside your terrarium but I really do prefer doing it in a separate box because everything is about to get really really wet so I got this box this is a standard IKEA box nothing fancy about these you can get them pretty much anywhere of course I need to close this box and for that I need a lid this is the lid I have drilled some holes in it for air so it pretty much locks up just like that which is perfect this box is about to get really really wet because what we need to do is to create like a really humid environment for the snake because we want them to get rid of this excessive shed by themselves so the first thing I'm gonna do is just spray it all with water it doesn't need to be uh, several centimeters thick with water just spray it a little bit everywhere as you can see the box is now pretty pretty humid there is a little bit of water pretty much everywhere and that's exactly what we need the next thing you want to do is find either an old washing cloth or an old towel. We really, really need either one of these. I'm going to go with a towel like this one the best. What you need to do with this is to make it wet. You don't need to make it completely wet. It doesn't need to be soaked, but it really needs to be very, very humid. As 
as you can see the towel here is pretty much uh, very very humid right now it's not overly soaked in water but it's very very humid the reason why I really like towels is because that they have these small kind of rough edges and that's really really good because the snake really needs those to be able to rub against like you can almost feel how that's going to help him get the shit off so that's what we're gonna put in next in with this all right, as you can see, this is a pretty, pretty simple setup. There's nothing fancy about this, not at all. We've created this very human environment for the snake. It really needs it. Now it has something with rough edges so it can rub the shit off it. And that's really, really good. The next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna put down the snake into this. The snake I'm gonna put down today is Ariel. Ariel doesn't have any structure, yet, none of my snakes do. Uh, I'm not going to say unfortunately because that's pretty good, but it still kinda sucks when I have to show you guys this. But I want you to show how it looks and hopefully she is gonna push a little bit against it so you kinda get the idea of what's going on. Now, as you may have seen it before, how a stuck shed looks, I'm gonna show it to you again. So you can clearly see how it kinda looks a little bit wrinkly and you're not in doubt when there are some stuck sheds and Ariel here she's completely clean she's completely smooth there is nothing on her she is looking absolutely gorgeous but she's gonna help me today so let's get Ariel into the box Now we have the snake in the humid box, we can call it that. What you guys can do now is leave it alone for maybe like an hour. Remember to put a little bit of warmth underneath so she doesn't get too cold because if she gets cold and you leave her with all of this water and all of these humans that can lead to a respiratory infection and we're not interested in that. So guys, a little bit of warmth over, put her in a warm room and then just leave her for about an hour because the snake itself will start to rub off all of this excessive shit. If you come back in an hour and all of the shit is not off, what you can do is just take the snake out, put it in a terrarium for the night, let it rest and then do the same thing the day after. But if your snake seems fine, give it like a half an hour or more. that's all for today I really do hope you enjoyed this video on how to get rid of a bad shit this trick has certainly helped me out when I really really need it and I really hope that it will work for you guys as well it's so important that we share all of these experiences and ideas I also want to give a big 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 thanks to the people who were so nice to lend me their pictures I asked in my Facebook group for pictures and I was a little bit unsure if people wanted to share but they did and I'm so thankful for that because guys you are helping me helping everyone to be educated about snakes and to help them that is just perfect I love it I love when we are doing this so guys in my Facebook group thank you so much for being so helpful you're awesome please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make it really does mean a lot to me and while you're at it just hit subscribe on that channel if you have the opportunity I would much appreciate if you would support me on patreon it really does help me out a lot as usual you can find me on Instagram under the name Jesus Jungle thank you guys for now and bye bye